So this is going to be an example of simulating a JV curve with GPVDM and this is probably the simplest simulation you can do with the model. So let's go ahead and start GPVDM and let's click new to make a new simulation and this gives us a choice of what uh, simulation we'd like to perform. So there's various types of organic, various types of solar cell we can simulate organic LEDs and also organic solar cells. So in this case we're going to make a simulation for organic solar cell so click next. Then it'll ask us where we'd like to save it, so I'll save it on the desktop and I'll call it cell. And let's click new. And now it's uh, made a simulation and you can actually see there's a simulation directory appeared on the desktop. And here's a picture of our device, so we've got some photons coming in, ITO, p.psp, p3htpcbm and aluminium contact. And we've got the layer structure of the device set up here and we can sort of change the layer thicknesses by playing with these numbers and we can see the active layer is the is this one here, the P3HT PCBM layer and it's got a yes by it saying it's the active layer and there's a blue bar on the uh, on the device indicating that layer so the light intensity is set to one sun and let's just look at the device parameters briefly so we've got um, values of mobility set here um, Ca uh, carrier capture cross section set here and the density of trap state set here. So let's now run the simulation. So the simulation is now finished and we can look at the results by using this icon here. Um, so we've got various outputs from the simulation so let's look at uh, the JV curve. So this is uh, volts and current density and uh, everything in here is in um, SI units so I don't, I don't use centimeters with the model so let's just use this tool to bring the, uh, the scale back into view and we've got a, a JV curve. So uh, simulating now we can go on to simulate uh, the JV curve in the dark just by turning off the illumination. So set the sun intensity to zero. The photons have gone, run it again. and we can plot the results again and we see we've got a dark JV curve. If you press the L button on the keyboard it'll change the vertical axis into a log scale and we can see that's a typical uh, dark JV curve with the various areas representing the shunt resistance, the um, di diodes and the uh, effectively forward biased uh, uh, condition. So that's it really as far as simulating a JV curve goes with, um, with GPVDM.